Today, we're gonna to learn how to make our own custom shapes in Fusion using the new S Polygon node, which is one of the shape tools in Resolve 18.6. My name's Casey, I help content creators make amazing things in Fusion. If you're just getting into Fusion, make sure to check out the Fusion Survival Guide. There's a link in the description below. Let's get into S Polygon, shall we? Shafwa. So here I am in the Fusion page of Resolve 18.6. By the way, this doesn't actually work for 18.5, just 18.6 and after. And I have nothing going on here, but we're gonna start using a shape node. I'll hold shift and hit spacebar and type S-P-O-L-Y, and that's gonna bring up the S polygon. So this is where the magic happens. I'll hit two on the keyboard to bring this up in the second viewer. We'll kind of make this nice and big so that we can see what's going on. So an S polygon lets you use your drawing tools here to create sort of like a vector shape, right? And so by default, it's just a white shape and you can draw with a pen tool, select all of these and delete them. You can also use this draw a pen tool, which is kind of like a freehand drawing sort of thing. And that'll fill that in. But let's, uh, let's make ourselves a tortoise, shall we? I'm just gonna make a little shell here. There we go. Like this is like the back of the tortoise, right? You, you understand, you, see what, you sort of see what I'm getting at. And I can draw a shape like that and click on the end to close it. I can select all of these and kind of move the points around if I want to. I can hold down S and click and drag to scale these points. I can hold down T and click and drag to twist around wherever I click first here. Easy way to kind of rotate things. I can also go up here in the upper left and click on this little button here, the shape box. And I have kind of this little transform box where I can kind of scale and move this collection of points. I'll just turn that off for now kind of move this towards the middle. So here I have my tortoise shell and this just like in any shape in Fusion, I can go over to style and change its color. So maybe I'll make this kind of a green, there we go. And great, now I have a shape on an empty background, but you'll notice that I can't take the output of this and plug it into media out. What's the deal with that? Well, this is a shape node and a shape node kind of exists in pretend land. <laughs> and so uh, just like a 3D node or a particle node, it's kind of just using math, but it's not really an image yet. So what we need to do is get an S render node. I'll hit shift spacebar and type S render this right here. I'll hit enter and that'll make an S render. And I can just take the output of this polygon and put it into an S render node. And now I can take this S render node and put it into my media out. And if we view the media out, there we have our image. So why the heck does it work like this? Well, shape nodes are a way to kind of procedurally create 2D shapes inside of Fusion. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that you can create this shape again, kind of in pretend land, where it's just thinking about the points and math and everything. And you can run it through essentially like a filter. And so if we do something like um, S grid, what this does is it renders these things on a grid, which of course is really hard to see here. So I'll just select these and make it really small just so we can see. And see now we have a grid of these shapes and I can adjust how many of these I want on the grid, how wide it's rendering them and so on. And so we can really quickly make a whole bunch of copies of this thing and we aren't losing quality or anything because we're kind of doing all the math and then actually rendering it here in S render. And what's neat is all of these are kind of happening live. And so I can add another filter or another node here like um, S transform. And I can put this in between our S polygon node and our S grid. And I could do something like rotate them and then look how oh, we got. These almost look like little limes, huh? Almost like a candy commercial, like, oh yeah, Skittles. But we can apply that rotation to this shape node and then have it offset in the grid and everything like that. And depending on the order that we do this in, if we take this S transform first like that, or if we put it through a grid and then put the transform, that's going to give us a different result. And so this is just gonna rotate the whole grid, right? And so you kind of put these in the order of operations and you can get some really cool things going on. So we don't wanna do that, we're drawing a tortoise. Task at hand. So there's our little shell. Let's make another S polygon. And I'm gonna draw his little feet. Little known fact, a tortoise lives on land. So he has these little flat little elephant feet. And if it were a turtle, he'd have the little flippers. You know, we'll call it a foot. This one's called the shell. And we put these together just like you would with a merge node. We just use a special merge node called S merge or smerge. Using this smerge, we need to put the foot into the background and let's put the shell into the foreground like this and then put that into render. And look at that. Let's make our foot, I don't know, kind of a green, but a little bit different green than our shell. Maybe something like that. There we go, maybe a little darker, okay? So now we got another foot. And let's put this over a background just so we don't have that checkerboard. Let's kind of give it a, like a little white, 
We'll just merge this over our background here, put this into our media out. There we go. There's our nice little background. And so, yeah, we can use these kind of procedural drawing tools to offset this foot. So let's do something like uh, S duplicate. And this is just going to make a duplicate of this same thing. We'll just say copies one and then push this X offset over. And look, now we got two little feet. Let's actually push this over a little bit. Yeah, something like that. We'll adjust this duplicate offset like that. And now if we adjust one foot, let's say we wanna make it a little bit taller, we can grab these points and move them up and that's going to affect both of our feet. So we can kind of make one thing and then have it sort of ripple to everything else. It's kind of a neat way to draw. So there's a little tortoise feet. Now we need to have his head and his tail. Let's just make another S merge. These shape merges, you can actually put multiple shapes into a merge, but I like to just do it this way because it's easy to figure out what's in the background and what's in the foreground with just the two inputs. And this time let's actually just make an ellipse. So S ellipse, this is just a quick way to draw an ellipse as a shape. And let's take the width and the height down and we'll move this over here. There we go. There's our little tortoise head and we'll make him the same color like that. Let's do one more thing. Let's make his tail. This will do another S poly. And actually I'll just add this to our other merge because these things aren't going to be overlapping. I don't really care what's in the foreground or the background. I just want everything behind the tortoise shell. So same thing here. Okay. So we'll call this tail. I'm just hitting F2 to rename. And this ellipse is going to be his head. Now we have our little tortoise going on. We made this with our little shape nodes and it's cute. Maybe I don't want him to be so long. I can select all of these and hold X and then click and drag to scale this on the X axis. Yeah, I think something like that looks a little better. It's a little nicer. Grab his head and kind of move him back here and his tail, move him back here. There's our handsome man. There's a little tortoise. And then again, we can just take this tortoise and do something like S transform and make him smaller and then S grid and put them on a grid. Look at all these tortoises. And yeah, we can do a lot of really cool stuff here with shape nodes. Ah, oh, so much fun. It's so great to have this custom polygon shape node now because now you can use all the fancy things you can use for shapes, all the little shape filters and things like that. So that's kind of an intro to S Polygon. It's a custom shape that you can create and plug right into the existing shape system. If you wanna learn more about shapes and how the heck those work, let me know in the comments. We'll make another video on it. It's fun making a little bit of art like this, huh? That's a good time. Hey, if you want to learn more about Fusion, check out the Fusion Survival Guide. There's a link in the description below. It's a free video course that'll give you my top tips for uh, getting your feet wet when it comes to Fusion, okay? Until then, I hope you enjoy the S Polygon node. I hope you enjoy a nice seafood dinner very soon, unless you don't like seafood, in which case I hope you enjoy whatever the heck dinner you like. <laughs> Me, I'm partial to some tacos. That's the end of the video.